Nobody taught you about anything. Human beings, did you learn anything? What did you learn? Nothing. You went to school, they, they just gave you bullshit. More bullshit and more bullshit and more bullshit. And then you were educated on television, which is Americana, selling you nonsense so, to, so that you can consume products. And of course, now your sexual energy gets activated, let's say, you enter your teenage years. So you don't know how to do, you don't know what it is. You don't know how it works. Your body isn't even actually strong. You haven't, you haven't built resilience. You don't have a sense of anything. You don't know where you are, what life is about, nothing. And then you have all that power awakening in a body that's com completely like tense. So it creates heat. And then you got to go to class and sit down and listen to an idiot talk about nonsense. You can't even move. And if you move, then they give you a pill so that you stop moving because apparently you got an attention deficit problem. That's besides the fact that you're already tense, that when you go home, your mom is insane. If God willing, if you have a father, he's insane. Your grandparents are, everybody insane. And all that energy is now activated. You have no sense of anything, no direction, no, no, nothing. You just lost. And then you're in, in class listening to a moron blabber about nonsense. None of which interests you because it's uninteresting, because this has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with life. It has nothing to do with making you a better person. It has nothing to do with making you strong or discover yourself. So who the fuck cares? And you're stuck in class with a little girl who's hot. Literally, she's heating up because her sexual energy is on. And you've now in your brain have all these sexual images that you consume in porn via your stupid telephone. And you're like, oh. Oh, I just want to fucking explode. I want to come so I can get out of myself and have a moment of repose because it's too much fucking pressure. That's sexuality for your average individual. This is how it starts. So you mean to tell me that this is when you're 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 right? What, when you're 40, it's changed? No, it's just a more sophisticated version of that. So what kind of sexuality is that 40-year-old going to have? Weird, I promise you. All kinds of funny kinks. And apparently, that's normal. That's healthy sexuality. I'm like, you squeeze, brother. Your nervous system and your sexual energy circuits are squeezed. Now look at you, man. Somebody got to put a dildo up your ass so that you can have an ejaculation because you have so much stress and you're so pent up that you can't even feel anything. You need a woman to strap on a dildo and fuck you up your ass so that you can have a moment of relaxation. I sympathize with you. This is not a criticism. I'm like, well, this is pretty fucked up, dude. No, that's king shaming. That ain't king shaming. Brother, something's wrong. You need somebody to fucking squeeze your neck and choke you. To have a feeling. Listen, I don't want to king shame nobody, man. I'm not a king shamer. Do I look like a king shamer? I ain't a king nothing there. What I'm trying to tell you is like something funny. When some, if somebody got to choke you so that you can have a sensation. Well, it says that your nervous system has got an issue. That's all I got to say. And if you think that this is normal, man, you're fucked up. I'm sorry, with all due respect. And this is modern sexuality. And this is just the tip of the iceberg because it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. As every passing day, you're, you get more tense. More problems, more tension. You don't know how to evacuate the tension. You think that going to the gym evacuates the tension. It doesn't. It's like farting a zit for a moment. Psst, there's, a, there's, a, there's a release, but the tension, you haven't resolved the issue. And it just builds up and then the kinks become more intense. Because you need something more violent to force... No, it's not this one. It's to force relaxation. Impose relaxation on your system so that you can have a, a sensation that's going to make you come. So that you can get a release and just like, ah. This is, this is our sexuality. And this is for those who even, that have the courage to go in that direction because there's a whole bunch of other people that don't even dare to see themselves in that way. So they're even like, I don't know if who's better. They're just like even more tense because they, they're terrified of being this improper. This is our modern sexuality. Congratulations. What's the outcome? Everybody's unhappy. Something's wrong. That's what I'm trying to point at. The, the problem stems from faulty thinking. You don't fucking get it. You don't understand the nature of the game. It's like you go on the hockey rink and you're trying to play soccer. Fuck it. You're trying to play volleyball. You go to the fucking hockey rink. Trying to play volleyball. Already you're confused, there's no net. And there's this motherfucker skating with a puck and it hits you. And you're like, what's wrong with people? What's wrong with you? You're in the wrong fuck. You don't understand the nature of the game you're in. That's why you're always having in pain. But no, it works for me. I got a little corner over there and I'll, ooh, ooh, ooh. And we just like, shoot, ooh, ooh. And we are, uh, 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 smack. Uh, uh, I'm the man. This is not the game. This is hockey. What you doing? 
The same goes for sexuality. It's like, this is a sport. It's a game. It's a cosmic sport. And you have no idea how it works. And everybody around you is telling you it's whatever the fuck you want it to be. It's not whatever the fuck you want it to be. It's one thing. Create. Mastering creation. You're the man, so that means you have to master the sexual energy. And in order to master the, se master the sexual energy, you have to master the feminine energy inside of you. And on her side, it's the same. And then you meet. And then the dance begins. The dance of the dragons. That would be the real dance of the dragons. How about that? This is a complex sport. Who said it's easy? Wait, what else is there? It's the greatest sport that's ever been. That's what everybody wants to play. And what do we get instead? The squeezed, insane, psychotic neurotic version which leads to only pain and suffering more pain and suffering and madness and look at the shit is created now it, the sexual creative power is connected to the to, to, to the god or the goddess if you'd like so it's always there's always a genius in it yeah but look at what like look at what it's doing what does it do even if it's brilliant you've created the thing and what does it do it sucks that's what it does literally it sucks does it give something to people? No, it sucks from them and that's what they want. They want to be sucked so then they get that. We are in an insane world and that is due to the fact that sexuality is absolutely completely upside down. It is diseased. It says so in the Bible. You get the man, you get that bitch. They all fucked up and the whole creation. After this is based on that disease. Primary lesion, like I like to call it. So... Look at yourself, observe your condition, stop trying to find another solution and just at least consider what I'm saying. Open up a little bit. I'm not saying you don't want to come. Come if you want to come. I didn't say not to come. But you understand? How are you going to ever find what you're looking for? What you're really looking for is intimacy with yourself and with her and you want to experience sexual power in its heightened state and you want to be able to create worlds. Not a prison. Not a cage. Not a relationship that suffocates you and cuts you and, and makes you smaller by the day. Not a fucking hell that you call love. That's not love, that's attachment. And attachment comes from weakness. You're attached, that means you're lacking something. Therefore, somebody can manipulate you. Well, why don't you grow in power? And why doesn't she grow in po power? And why isn't there a partnership? Well, I don't know what that means. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. That is the definition of health. That's why I say, going to the gym ain't got nothing to do with health. Like eating good food ain't got nothing to do with health. This is surface stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. No matter how many fucking uh, goji berries you're going to eat, it's not going to make you healthy. It's got the crap. Health is inner. It's inner state. It's fluidity. Your mind, your emotions, your body, they work coherently so energy flows. Then you put food. 